Hey guys, in this short video, I'm going to cover how to perform an allergy assessment and what diagnostic studies are involved. You'll need to obtain a comprehensive patient history, which includes asking them certain things about their environment, such as if they have any pets, what sort of plants they're typically around at work or at home, any air pollutants, what type of floor coverings are in their home or workplace. You'll also need to ask them to describe their signs and symptoms, as well as what they were doing when it happened. If seasonal allergies are suspected, then note the time of year that the symptoms occur. Inquire if the patient has had any new foods or medications prior to the reaction. Also ask if there's any family history of allergies. A comprehensive head-to-toe physical exam should be performed. It's sometimes a difficult task to identify allergens, but it's very important if your patient's going to receive the proper treatment and to prevent future allergic reactions. With each subsequent allergic reaction, the immune system is going to react more strongly, and that will cause more severe side effects. There are a number of diagnostic tests that can be performed to aid in both the identification of the allergen and subsequent treatment. Skin tests are the preferred method of allergy testing, but I'll cover that topic more in depth in the next video. The healthcare provider will probably order you to draw labs such as CBC with differential, which will provide an eosinophil count. Eosinophils are elevated in type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. Serum IgE levels may also be ordered, as elevated levels may indicate atopic diseases. Allergy blood tests are recommended if the patient can't stop taking certain meds, such as antihistamines or steroids. They can't tolerate the many needle scratches required for skin testing, or if they have an integumentary disorder such as psoriasis or severe eczema. Other diagnostic studies include sputum specimens and pulmonary function tests. The sputum samples are tested for eosinophils, Pulmonary function tests, or PFTs, are indicated if asthma is suspected. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more resources that will help you succeed in nursing. Have a fantastic day.